Now we're going to go into more depth about the lithosphere and asthenosphere. The lithosphere is solid and rigid. The asthenosphere is also solid, but it moves. So the lithosphere goes from the crust to the upper mantle. It's the rigid solid zone and the tectonic plates lie on the lithosphere. We said that in the crust video. The asthenosphere is mostly solid, but it's able to flow. We call that liquidus. It is a hot, weak zone, and it represents the upper mantle. But what is the blue boundary in this picture between the lithosphere and the asthenosphere? So what is this blue boundary? So what layers of the earth are the lithosphere and the asthenosphere? The lithosphere is the crust and some of the upper mantle, and the asthenosphere is the upper mantle. How would you describe the area or texture of the mantle? It's solid and solid slash liquidus. So what could this be called? I'm assuming something with an M because mantle, motion. So it's welcome to the Mohorvik discontinuity or the Moho for short. So this is the boundary between the lithosphere and asthenosphere because how can it go from a solid rigid lithosphere to a plastic motion filled asthenosphere? Obviously there's a change in temperature and pressure but this line has to do with it.